All right, guys, today we are going to go over all the infantry units in Conqueror's Blade, and we are going to figure out where they belong on our tier system. So our tier has five ranks to it, or five tiers, I should say. We have OP, uh, we, and we have Meta, and then we have Balanced, uh, Filler, and not worth barrack slot. I mean, there are a few that aren't worth the barrack slot, right? So we are gonna go over all these units. Uh, the chat is gonna help me. I am streaming this live. So if you guys ever wanna come participate in something like this, feel free to uh, come to my Twitch channel. I do a lot of fun stuff on Fridays, so come check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first unit. Um, and this is in alphabetical order. So we are gonna do it in alphabetical order. The first unit is a Zaps. The first unit is a Zaps, right? So what are we thinking? I mean, Zaps, in my opinion, are really strong, really strong. Um, they're definitely part of the meta, but are they OP? Are they OP or are they balanced? I don't think they're balanced. They are definitely meta. But I don't know if they're overpowered. I don't think they're overpowered. All right, yeah, we're definitely gonna go with meta. We're gonna go with meta on the Zaps. They they can be useful in TWs. They have a great Counter Strike ability. Um, I highly recommend going the Counter Strike route veterancy for a Zaps. All right, so let's go to our second unit. Second unit. All right, so Black Dragon Jalineers. Black Dragon Javelineers. So this is a mercenary unit. Where does it belong? Do we think it's balanced for a T3? Do we think it's a filler? I feel like it's a filler. In my opinion, people use it as a filler. Not as a actual balanced unit. I definitely think it's a filler. Um, I can see how people think it's balanced, but I think people only use it to fill the slot left in actual leadership. Um, they do a decent amount of damage with their javelins, but they're not like very viable. Um, that's that's my opinion. So I'm gonna go with filler on these. Uh, the extra the extra XP is amazing, of course, but martellatory is also you know they're only 30 leadership, like they're good for the the filler too. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Uh, Black dragon pikeman. Black dragon pikeman. I don't know. I don't really like the unit. Uh, they're not they're not really worth the silver or the sovereigns. Uh, I kind of don't think they're worth it at all. They don't they don't do much. I don't even know if they have a brace. Do they have a brace? Do they have a brace? I don't think they have a brace, do they? But I don't I don't see many people using them anymore. I remember seeing them a lot. Uh, with them not having brace, also that's kind of not worth, in my opinion. I just think there's so many better options. They're just not worth the barracks slot. And they're not worth the sovereigns to buy it or silver. I think they're what? Are they 200k? 300? Yeah, they're expensive. All right, so let's go ahead and what's the next one? Black Dragon Spearman. I have never used these. What's your guys' opinion on this? What's your guys' opinion on this? Filler? You guys are saying filler, huh? I like them instead of Iron Cap. Really? Really? So they, Black Dragon, people are saying they like Black Dragon Spearman over Iron Cap. So are we, we're definitely going to say filler on this one? Yeah, filler. Okay, we'll definitely go filler. All right, next, Condos. Condos, guys, the good old Conditary Guards. Conditary Guards, I think they're meta. Well, they're definitely balanced now that they don't CC heroes. I think there's huge balance there. They are meta, but I don't think they're actually like TW units. I actually would say they're balanced. I would just say balanced units. Uh, they're meta for like sieges, uh, just siege battles and stuff like that. But besides that, what else do you use them for? You know, I don't think many people use them in TWs too often. They rather use a Zaps or uh, something a little more higher caliber. I would say balanced. Yeah. Zaps took their place. Yeah, Zaps are definitely like the beefed up condos. So we're going to go with balance for condos. All right, next we have uh, Domain Javelineers. Domain Javelineers. Uh, I've seen people use these. They aren't super effective with their javelins. Uh, they can't block much. They die rather quickly. I, I'm i aiming not worth barracks slot. I don't know if you guys have ever used them. But I've used them before and they are not worth it in my opinion. They don't do much. They just don't do much for me. 
So I'm going to go with not worth the barrack slot for them, unfortunately. Jab Militia, 100% better. Yeah, jab, jab, they, the Jab Militia uh, might actually be a good filler. All right, so, all right, here is one of, in my opinion, one of the best T1 units. Demain, uh, Demain Pikeman. Have, have you guys ever used Domain Pikemen before? They are very, very good. Um, they have very long uh, pikes. I would actually say, yeah, somewhere in here, like filler or balance, like they're, they're actually really decent units. They're good for the leadership. Yeah, I'll go with balance. I'll go with balance. I like that. I like that because, I mean, some people might not even just use it as a filler. They might just use it because they like the damage they get from the Domain. So I, I, like, I, I like the call of balance on them. All right, now we have Domain Spearman. All right, Domain Spearman. Let's see what we can do here with these guys. I mean, these guys were good once upon a time, but this season they don't. I mean, they don't do much. They have a nice shield. They have a nice shield. They're definitely worth their leadership. So I think they're a good filler. Definitely a good filler. Yeah, everyone seems to agree on that. All right, um, let's see here. What else we got? Ford Abrasio Pikeman. Ford Abrasios. All right, the Ford Abrasios got nerfed, right? So the Ford Abrasios got nerfed. Um, before, I would have said these units were OP. They used to be OP in Season 4, but with the Season 5 update, these guys do not do nearly as much as they used to. Um, everything's about momentum hitting their pikes or their spears at the end. So now it's a little different. They still counter, they still counter cav. They still counter cav, but anything can kill them from the side hits. Like they have a nice square formation, but honestly, I mean, are they balanced or are they filler at this point? Definitely still a P with horsemen. I don't think so. I don't think so. It's so easy to get around them. It's so easy to get around them. It's so easy. I think they're balanced. I don't think they're meta anymore. They're not meta. Yeah, be, like the meta changed. Imperial Pike Guards. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think balance. I think because... Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, one thing I will say is Fort Abrasios are used a lot in TWs. They are used a lot in TWs so people don't get through the door. But I feel like people can still get through the door with Fort Abrasios. I feel like people can still get through the door with Fort Abrasios. If you walk through, their, their pike... Their pikes don't do any damage to you. It's all about momentum hitting their their pikes. So if you just walk through it with your units, they don't do nearly as much damage as they used to. So I'm gonna go with balanced for now. Balanced. I I think balanced. That's 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 the call I'm making. Their V is brutal. Their V is really good. But so is uh ja um, was it uh halberd sergeants? They are meta. All right, we, we'll make that switch. We'll make that switch. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll put them as they are meta. All right, I'll give you guys that. They are still meta. Last season, they were like full meta. Like everyone had Fort Abrasios. Everyone had Fort Abrasios at every gate, every point. Fort Abrasios were huge. So yeah, Fort Abrasios are still big. All right, now the next one is Halberd Sergeants. Halberd Sergeants. Are they balanced? balanced at this point i mean they used to do so much damage uh they got a nerf i don't remember what the nerf was but i do feel like they're balanced at this point i wish they had like something else like a little more defense but for the most part they can kill heroes very quickly they have so much penetration um they are underrated but i don't think they have the damage to get uh they don't have the defense to get in the meta like, no one uses them in TWs because it's either Imperial Pike Guards because you can stop. Like, the problem with Halberds, they don't stop Cav. They can't, like, they can stop, like, smaller Cav, like, Kashigs and stuff like that. But they don't stop Monastics. They don't stop uh, Hussars. Like, they can run over them. So, they do have a brace and they do have a rotating brace. But I, I feel like they're balanced. I feel like they're balanced. I don't think they're part of the meta anymore. I don't think they're part of the meta I, I've looked and I've tested them. I maxed these guys out this season. They are good units, but they just aren't good enough for meta right now. Zim, what is this based off TW play? Overall, it's an overall look, Oliver. We're doing an overall like leadership, TW, um, how strong they are in general is what we're doing. All right, Halberders. We are in Halberders. What do you guys think of Halberders is what I like to think. Because Halberders are good fillers. You think balance? I feel like they're a filler. I don't think you use halberders unless you need something to fill. 
let's think about it are you all right so let's think about what a balanced class like a balanced unit is right it's a unit you go to for something specific but halberds i don't feel like you go to them for anything specific like like you use them to fill i feel like you use them to fill right they are decent for their leadership costs. Yeah, they are, but that means they're they're decent for filling, right? I would say they're more so a filler. Balance is a unit you can build around, right? Filler is uh, filling a role. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Yeah, Grim. Um, they are a unit I'd get excited if I had the leadership left over for. Uh, all right, so are we thinking balance then? You guys think halberds are balanced, not just a filler. You guys can build around halberds? Is that the thought? Filler? Yeah, okay. Alright, everyone's thinking filler. I'm with you guys on that. Alberts are strong. I'd say balance, really. We have a mix. We have a huge mix on this. Huge mix. Um, we will do a poll on this. Well, how about we do a poll on that one and we'll come back to it. Uh, I'm gonna pull it back down and we'll do it towards the end. We'll do a poll on it. There's a huge mix crowd on that one. We'll 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 come back to it. We'll come back to it. Alright, so let's do Imperial Javelineers. Imperial Javelins, who has them, who loves them, is the question. They are definitely balanced or higher. They're definitely balanced or higher. Yeah, I definitely think balanced. They are kind of part of the meta because they can counter, they can counter the flamethrowers. Yeah, almost meta. I feel like they're almost meta, but not quite. The Javelins are great, but they only get what? Three, four throws, except Pyan and Anomi make them all. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Um... But yeah, I believe they are definitely balanced. They're definitely a balanced unit. They're definitely a balanced unit. All right, so, all right. Here comes the infamous unit right here. Imperial Pikeman. Imperial Pikeman. OP or meta? I feel like their walk is fucking OP, dude. Their walk literally runs over anything except for... I mean, they can slow walk Iron Reapers and destroy them. They can slow walk Iron Reapers and destroy them. They can also, another thing they can do is, obviously they can't beat Stalwarts because Stalwarts have a very high block and they don't move from their brace. So, Stalwarts counter them. But, guys, the biggest unit you're going to use against Cav is Imperial Pike Guards. There's no way it's not OP. It's no, there's no way that it's not OP because what are you using the counter, um, cab? There is one unit that you really use to counter cab. There is one unit guys, and it's going to be those Imperial pikemen. It's the biggest unit for countering the meta right now. I have to say Imperial pike guards are OP, even though they can't beat certain infantry, even though they can't beat certain infantry, I still think they're OP. Their walk is the most amazing thing. It's the most amazing ability that any like any unit has right now. I mean, they can do damage. They can kill heroes and stuff. Like if you build them right. I mean, it does. I, I think it's just because of the fact that they have an ability that counters the meta. Uh, well, all Pike nerf, but Fort took the nerf much harder. Too bad this cooldown though. That's why Cavs too OP. Yeah, they do have a high cooldown, but. The imp walks are so devastating. Like, they just have an ability that's so devastating that it really can change the game. It can change the whole, like, momentum charge. Like, they can start so much. Like, if you're trying to do something in the game, what are you doing? You're bringing your imp walkers, and you're going to walk over them. You're going to try to walk them. It changes the game. They're definitely OP. Like, I get that they're not super strong without their walk, but that walk really is, like, bread and butter for TWs. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Imp walks. I mean, I see that they're meta, but I think they're OP. We can we can do a poll on that. We can do a poll. You guys want to wait for that one? We can do a poll on that one at the end too. Um, I feel like they're OP. Like flat out, I feel like they're OP. Um, if I'm looking to counter Cav, I grab Imperial Pikeman. That's just my thought. Um, I'm gonna leave it there for right now. We'll look back at it. We'll look back at it. We'll look back at it. Um, all right, Imperial Spear Guards. These guys are not being used as much, but they started being used again because of the flamethrowers. What people have started doing is Imperial Spear Guards with the flamethrowers is a beautiful mix because you have a shield that can't really be penetrated too harshly from a imp walk, right? And then the flamethrowers stop everything that gets in front of it. 
Flamethrower stops everything that gets in front of it. What do we think about the Imperial Spear Guards? I don't think they're meta. My opinion is I don't think they're meta. I think they might be balanced, but they are not in the meta at the moment. They are they are kind of in the meta because they, people are using them um, with the flamethrowers, but you also can use the stalwarts. Like, stalwarts can replace these guys. Like, these units can be replaced. They don't, obviously, stalwarts don't have the heal, but stalwarts can stop calf. Imperial, Imperial spear guards can't stop calf. Would have to say meta before stalwarts. They were meta. They were meta. I don't think they're meta anymore. They serve a very important purpose, uh, protecting range. Yeah, exactly. They are balanced for the idea that they will sit there and defend range units, Falconettis, whatever. But can't you do that with stalwarts? Can't you do that with stalwarts? They were part of the meta, but I feel like they fell down into just a balanced unit that not many people use anymore. It is a good unit. I'm going to go with balance because they, I feel like they fell off. They fell off because of the stalwarts. Even the men at arms. They men at arms have a decent shield too. It's hard to break the block of the men at arms shield too. So that's that's my thought on that. I definitely think it's balanced right now. All right. <laughs> good old iron reapers. The good old iron reapers. What do we think about iron reapers? Now iron reapers were really good in season three, season two. But season three, they took a dive because you had Pavis, you had Falconettis, even condos were causing issues for Iron Reapers. Like, like Reapers got a huge nerf to their speed and their defense. They're less leadership now, but they still count as a T5. Like, they, I feel like, I don't know, Iron Reapers are almost not worth the barracks lot in my opinion at this point. They still, well, but here's my thing. Men at arms can counter. Men at arms can counter stalwarts though, and they're T4. So are you gonna waste that slot? Are you gonna waste that slot? Salad boys took the reaper. Yeah, I feel like salad bar. Uh, salad. Saladars. Uh, wow, God, I can't even. Say. Yeah, is it saladars? Yeah, saladars took their place or paladins. So the iron reapers. I don't. I don't know. I feel like it's almost not worth the barrack slot until they give it a buff. Well, the micro and reapers makes them strong. I guess they could. They're good at holding points. They are good at holding points. But they die so quickly now, guys. They die so quickly. Men at arms can fight them easily. With all the block that men at arms have, T4 can beat iron reapers now. What do we think of iron reapers? Who's using iron reapers right now? Who? Unless you're leveling them. Who uses them? I don't think it's worth the slot. I don't think they're balanced either. I don't think they're balanced. No way. If they were balanced, people would use them. If they were balanced, people would use them. They're not fillers. They're not a filler unit. You don't you don't use a T5 to fill. Like it's not a filler unit. Yeah, no one's afraid of Iron Reapers. Not worth the barrack slot, in my opinion. No one, anyone wasting their time on Iron Reapers right now should be looking at a different unit, in my opinion. They have roles as shock. I don't think so. I don't think they're worth it. They're a T5 not worth the slot, in my opinion. Everyone's like, man, I wish I can get my, my Iron Reaper honor back, right? Like, so many people are like, oh, it's like a waste. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. All right, so Iron Cap Spearman is next. I, I, it's sad to see that about the Iron Reapers, but that's where they're at right now. So hopefully they do something about that. Iron Cap Spearman. I do feel like they're a good filler. They're a good filler. Definitely a filler. I'm going to use them today for the second opinion. All right, Lion, you do that. Strong filler? Okay, I like them. They have a decent block. You know, they can hold it down for like a few minutes. It matters on what you're going against. Obviously, they lose to a lot of things like Cav and... Iron Reapers, uh, Saladars, Men at Arms, stuff like that. But for a T3, they hold up pretty well. All right. So Iron Cap Swordsman. So I'm more of a Ran Round Shields guy, but Iron Cap Swordsmen are also pretty good. They're good filler unit. I feel like Iron Cap Swordsmen are good filler units. So are Ran Round Shields. I feel like Iron Cap Swordsmen are a good filler. I do. And I'm also going to put Ran Round Shields in here. They're both the same kind of unit. Ran round shields get really defensive, 
Um, the Iron Cap Swordsmen actually get decent offense. They both can be used in different ways, but their shields help a lot in charging. They're both good fillers. They're both good fillers. All right, here we go with Javelin Militia. Um, yeah, I like my Rans. Yeah, me too. All right, so the Javelin Militia, they're decent. They're good fillers in my opinion. You think they're balanced? I feel like they're kind of balanced. They actually have a really good throw. They have a really good Javelin throw. So I'm kind of curious about that. You guys think balanced or filler? I feel like you only grab them to fill, right? You don't base you don't base your build around them at all. They're kind of like last like leadership kind of thing. <laughs> all right, so I, I think we're gonna go with filler with them too. A lot of T2 units are good fillers, except for one or two. We will see them here soon. All right, we are on javelin sergeants. We are on javelin sergeants. I feel like javelin sergeants are balanced. They have a really good throw distance. They have a really good throw distance. They can kill heroes with one shots. They can one shot heroes. Um, they actually have a heal. If you go defense route on them, they have a good heal. Uh, they can take out. Uh, they can take out Cav. I feel like they're a very balanced unit. Javelins tend to be pretty balanced. They've done very well in the javelins. Have to be the same as imp javs. Yeah, imp javs are a little more defense. But yeah, I see that. Okay, one of my one of my favorite units to bring to sieges and whatnot, Martellatories. Martellatories. Do we think they're strong, super strong because of their defense on siege towers? Their defense on siege towers, does that make them OP or meta? Guys, you're never going to use serfs or woodcutters if you have Martellatories. Martellatories give you that defense buff on siege towers when you're pushing. Like, come on, what do we think? I definitely think they're meta. Are they OP though? They are only 30 leadership. You can add them almost to any build. Almost to any build. Are they OP or are they just are they just meta? And you get the 10% bonus. Yes, exactly. But that's in I mean that's in sieges and whatnot, but I mean let's think here. Alright, well, you know, I'm gonna go with meta. I mean, there's they like uh, the only thing that would make them OP is maybe the defense and their leadership. Um, but maybe th I don't think they're OP. They're for sure meta. I don't know if they're OP though. If they had abilities, they'd be yeah. If they had like a charge, if they had like a charge with their blunt damage, they would be OP. They would that actually would completely replace woodcutters. I turned that off. I don't know why that's on. Um, all right, let's go ahead and move to the next one men at arms let's go ahead and throw this into the garbage let's go ahead and put men at arms right where they belong not worth barrack slot in my opinion do not fucking run men at arms garbage no offense like anyone that loves men at arms i'm sorry promote them please to paladins because men at arms are not worth it i don't know they're up yeah their upgrade is what they're worth yeah but honestly men at arms by themselves no no they're not worth it at all man they're not worth it at all i leveled them i leveled them up during season four and it was not fun it was not fun um yeah <laughs> like the ugly sister you used to get the hotter one <laughs> i like that reference bumpy that's great that's great they are not worth but they are so damn much fun to use they are but now that there's paladins you can have all the fun you want with paladins Men at Arms used to be great, like because they were like that one like T4 charge unit that had a nice shield, but they didn't have any damage behind them. Yeah, they're just they are where they are. Um, palace guards. Does anyone use palace guards anymore? I mean, palace guards are very good defense units, but do they have a place in anything anymore? Does anyone use them? I don't think they're worth it at all. What do you use them for? You might as well get paladins. Like why even get why get why get palace guards? Why even get them? I haven't seen a I haven't seen them in a long time. I haven't seen them in a long time. We're gonna go ahead and put not worth the barrack slot, unfortunately. All right, guys, paladins. Where do we think paladins go? Today alone, I had a game where I got a hundred kills with them in like the matter of fucking two minutes. Two minutes, hundred unit kills. They are OP as fuck. Thank you, Bumpy. They are OP. 
Paladins are beautiful. Uh, I th they're definitely over the meta. They they're not using TWs much, but like in most scenarios, they are just awesome units. They're just the most fun units to use. That one, that's what makes them OP. They're one of the most fun charge infantry units you can use. They are literally what Iron Reapers should be with their blunt. Like they literally are what Iron Reapers should be with blunt damage. Like, but they obviously they're slashing damage, but or piercing. So. Honestly, if they would have reworked Iron Reapers to be a lot more like Paladins, Iron Reapers would be good again. Honestly. Like, honestly, they would have been. But they did it for Men at Arms, which Men at Arms needed too. So, Paladins are definitely OP right now. I've done some crazy stuff with them lately. Fun, fun is... Well, alright. So, alright. Let's, let's step back here. Fun doesn't mean OP. That's correct. But... When you can get a hundred, when you can get a hundred kills with an infantry unit that quickly, they are OP. Like there's, there's just no way to explain it except that they're OP. I've never been able to do that with any other units except for Cav, except for Cav. When you're fighting on the walls, the best two units, Saladars, Men at Arms, well maybe a Zaps too. Those three units right there are amazing. Halberd Sergeants are pretty good on the walls, but honestly, they have so much block. Their charge does so much damage. They have a heal. Oh, oh, what makes them OP? They can counter Imperial Pike Guards. So, I definitely think Paladins are definitely OP for the fact that they can get right up off the ground from an Imperial Pike Walk. They can survive a lot longer than a Zaps. They can do a lot of damage. Uh, also, they keep their block when they charge. Like, they have a beautiful block when they charge. I think they're OP. I definitely think they're OP. All right, let's move on. Prefectured Guards. Prefectured Guards. They are definitely meta, right? I feel like Prefectured Guards are still meta. Or are they balanced with condos? They're not trash. I've used them. They're not trash. No, they're both good in different ways. Prefecture guards are more defensive, um, even while they're offensive. You don't think so? I feel like they're balanced. They're either balanced or they're somewhere in the... Maybe I'm being biased, but I feel like they're somewhere in there. Slightly better than Kondos now because they stun Hero. Yeah, they have some good abilities. I don't think people understand this. If you use their drill mode exactly in their charge, they can do very well. Yeah, they're balanced. I'll go with balance on that. I'll go with that one. All right. Prefectured Pikemen. Is it worth the slot? I must ask. Are they worth the slot? Prefectured Pikemen. Are they worth that barrack slot? Because I have stopped leveling them since season two like i i stopped using them like i don't know i'm asking you guys what do you guys think because they have a nice charge that can kill any hero i don't know how they do against uh shields and whatnot they don't fill i don't what are they filling i don't think they fill so they are fun to use okay i have them they suck okay <laughs> uh i don't think they're worth it I don't think they're worth the slot. What's the point of having a pike unit that you can't brace? They can I mean, they can be kind of effective against Cav if you charge them into it, but they all die instantly. They have like no defense. I don't know. Really? 140 kills in 3 weeks ago. Okay, okay. Um, they can instant kill 3 units. <laughs> and they and they're done. I don't know. I'm going to I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna it like that's by luck. That's definitely by luck, banana. Banan. Um They're not worth it. They're not worth it. They're just a fun unit to use. They are not worth the barrack slot. Well, yeah, they're not they're not a filler. They're not worth the barrack slot to me. Nah, I don't think they're worth it. I max and they're never used now. Yeah. No one's using them. They're not worth the barrack slot right now. If they gave them a brace, they'd actually be worth it. If they had a brace, that'd be great. Like, they, if they were, like, halberd sergeants where they can charge and then brace, they would be worth it. They'd be worth it. And I'd rather use pike militia. And we're getting to them. We're getting to them. All right. So, Ren pikemen. Ren pikemen. I feel like they're just almost... They're, they're pretty much as good as 
They're as good as Pike Militia almost. They're almost as good, but they're not quite as good as Pike Militia. Are they worth it? They're a good filler, right? I feel like they're a filler. Yeah, they're definitely a filler. All right. Serves. Heart of, or not heart of gold, but serves the classic. Um, they used to be what you used to push towers, but now that there's martellatories, uh, what do you, what do you do? What do you do? You use your martellatories. Like, are serves even viable anymore? Uh, they are, they actually are meta for gathering. They are huge. They are huge for gathering. So they are definitely still in the meta. People use them. I actually, I agree with that. That they are actually meta. They're meta for farming. They are meta for farming. That is what they are. They are 100% meta. That is 100% correct. I agree with that. You know, I don't even think you fill with them. You would fill with woodcutters over serfs. I mean, they're great. I would go meta. Everyone uses them. Everyone uses them for farming. They're not OP. They're not OP units in general. But like, they are a meta unit to use in the open world. So they, I would have to say they're meta. If you don't want to pay $50, they are a good filler. They are a good filler, but I will say they're meta. They're definitely meta unless you have more territories. It's like you pick one or the other here. It's one or the other. Just because of their gathering abilities, it definitely puts them in the meta category. They, I mean, some people would say OP for gathering, but uh, we're not going to go that far. <laughs> um, all right. Celadars. Siladars, what do you guys think about Siladars? They have amazing damage output. They aren't really tanky, but they can destroy heroes. They can destroy units. Where are they? Where are they? Are they great? Um, they great for like wall control? Use them in the meta of like controlling walls, you know, stuff like that. Reaper's not worth the barracks. Yeah, yeah, it's skin rough in here, corn. All right, we're gonna put Siladars. And meta. They're definitely meta right now. They're definitely meta. They can kill heroes. They actually can kill cavalry pretty well too. If you if you land their strikes correctly, they can destroy cav. They can destroy cav. Their glaives are huge AoE effect. Um, so their forward slashing is just amazing. All right, next. Spear militia. Good old spear militia. Filler? I think they're a filler. Are they balanced? I feel like they're a filler. I feel like they're a filler. I feel like they're a filler. So good for just blocking range. I mean, yeah, like even for new here, like when you first start the game, a lot of people start with spear militia and they kind of are the bread and butter of like blocking damage for a bit, right? Black Dragon Spear is only 15 more leadership. Yeah, but you have to pay for um, Dragon, um, Black Dragon uh, here uh, unit. So as a normal unit that you can get on the unit tree for super cheap, is the unit worth it? Is it a good filler? Is it worth it? I think they're a good filler. I think they can be a good filler. I think they're a good filler. I, I like them as a filler. They, they I think they're worth the spot at least. I think they're worth the spot. Just in the beginning, obviously. I mean, after a while, probably not. But like, you got to think about it from both perspectives. Like new players, they're gonna, everyone uses the spear militia. They're viable. All right, so we're gonna put those in filler. Next is spear sergeants. Good old spear sergeants. Do does anyone even use spear sergeants anymore? I mean, they're not meta. They're not meta anymore. I feel like they're pretty balanced. They have a really good brace that can actually stop some cav. Uh, they they have a decent brace. And they are really good at expeditions. They're really good for expeditions. So I would definitely say um, spear, spear sergeants are going to go right into balanced. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, what do we think of squires? I, I personally don't use squires, but I'd like to know your guys' opinion. I like to know your opinion. I've never, I've never really used them. Um, are they, are they a good filler? Are they not worth it? Like, is anyone using them? That's the question. Is anyone using squires? I mean, they can't really compete with uh, condos or or prefecture. Like these two shield units are way better than squires, is what I've been told. 
not worth. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna throw them in not worth. It's it's kind of sad because there's a lot of units not worth so far. All right, guys, what do we think of stalwarts? The the new stalwarts from season five. What do we think of them? Are they OP? They can charge through units. <laughs> They can charge through units. Like, come on. They can charge through units. They have a brace that can stop Cav. They have an amazing block. Like, what are they? Are they overpowered? Do they have too much power? Do we think they need to be nerfed? If they're, like, units that are overpowered are things that need to most likely eventually be nerfed, right? So, the stalwarts need to be nerfed. Only shields that can take heavy pressure. I mean, Imperial Spearmen can take heavy pressure. But the thing that's beautiful about Stalwarts, they can stop Cav. They can stop Cav. They're, they're a shield unit that can stop Cav pretty well. They can stop Keshix. Um, I'd like them to be nerfed, to be honest. I think they're OP. I think they're OP right now. I think Stalwart's OP. They make every other shield unit almost worthless. Like, why bring Imperial Spear Guards when you can bring Stalwarts? They're replacing so many units. I feel like they're OP. I'm going to put them in the OP slot. I feel like they're OP. They just, overall, their abilities, their charge, you can walk through units right now, which is glitchy, but it, they can do it. And then they can brace and destroy everything that's in that unit. Like, they are weirdly good. They're weirdly good. And I did not expect that from them when I tested them. All right, let's go into Sword Militia. Sword Militia. They are... I don't even know if they're worth building, to be honest with you. They're a good charge unit to test when you're a new player, but does anyone use them? I mean, I'd rather use Dement's Pikemen. Or Domain Pikemen. Sorry, I said Dement's. I use them as a filler. Okay, we got some fillers. I've been leveling them. Level 10. They got nothing done. Yeah. Sword Militia. Good filler. Okay, I can dig that. We can put them in the filler slot. I can dig that. Uh, tenant farmers. Does anyone use tenant farmers? Does anyone use tenant farmers? OP. <laughs> Pretty. Do we think? Do we think tenant farmers are worth it? No, nah, I don't think they. I don't think they're. I don't think they're worth it. Village watchmen are good fillers. I think Village Watchmen are good fillers. Farmers are the 30 leadership. Filler almost not worth. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I, I've used them before. I just, they don't do much for me. They have a charge, don't they? They do have a charge, I believe. Um, farmers worth as filler for troll status. Not worth for sure. Um, they're worth for a world map. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. They're not worth it. There's so many units you can replace them with, like Village Watchmen, the main Pikemen, uh, you know, there's even Sword Militia. Like, you'd rather bring a nice charged Sword Militia instead of the, the farmers. They just die. They just go in and die. All right, what do we think of Tesserks? What do we think of Tesserks? They, I feel like they're not even worth the spot anymore, dude. They, I, Who's using them? Who's using these T4? Who's using them? Tell me who's using them. Who's using them? They all right. They can get through shields. They can get through shield. <laughs> Rip cats uses them. I didn't even bother leveling. Like, let's think about this, guys. Would you rather bring Tesserks, or would you rather bring stalwarts or paladins? Like, what would you rather? Like, what are they What are they replacing? Like, what are they... What are they even doing in, in the in the Siege lineup? Rather bring a Zaps. Like, a Zaps are great. Cheap, too. Even Spear Sergeants, you know? Like, they have a charge, and then they just die. They have a nice charge, and they just die. They're just like Iron Reapers. They're just like Iron Reapers in a way that they have a nice knockdown. But are they worth it? They are a bit different to Zaps. They are. They are. But are they worth putting into any lineup? Are they worth putting in any lineup when you can bring some other T4? Yeah. And their cooldowns are long. Would you either use them or... You would definitely use the Zaps. People saying balanced. They were meta. They were meta before Zaps. This is true. I think... I mean... 
Honestly, I guess we can go balance, but I almost think they're not worth it. At this point, I don't think they're worth it. Epic Doctrine, 20 second charge cooldown makes them strong. All right, all right, all right. I'll let you guys have this one. Balance. We will let them go into the balance category for now. All right, what do we think of Village Watchmen? Village Watchmen. What are your thoughts on it? I think they are a good filler. I think they're a good filler. They're definitely a good filler unit. They are definitely a good filler. You think balanced? You wouldn't, I wouldn't base a build around them. Good cannon fodder, yeah. Can kill infantry and push towers. I mean, so can serfs though. Serfs can kill infantry. I uh, use them every game, really. Please post image in Discord. Gotta go. Later, Lin. Uh, middle line on them is strong. I mean, it is strong. But are they a good filler? Or are they a balanced unit that you would use in every every time? Mini demand. All right. So when you say mini domain pikes, doesn't that kind of... You can't put them in the same category as the domain pikemen. If they're like mini domain pike, right? Because less leadership. I would say they're a good filler. At that point, I would say they're a good filler, for sure. So, woodcutters. Everyone loves woodcutters, dude. Everyone loves woodcutters. OP, right? OP. <laughs> what do we think of woodcutters? What do we think of woodcutters? They have a really good charge that does decent penetration. I think they're a very balanced unit. I think they're a very balanced unit for what they do. They're very balanced. I would like to think they're OP because they can kill, they can kill like Rand Rangers and stuff. But honestly, their charge is what it's supposed to be for a balanced unit. I don't know if they'd be overpowered. I don't think they're overpowered. I mean, I, if they could beat, if they can beat something crazy like a, like, like if they can beat condos or something, yeah, sure. But they can't beat condos. They can kill Archibusters. They could. They could. A lot of things could though. All right. So we, where did Halbert Sergeants end up? Where did Halberd Sergeants end up? Uh, well, they can stun and hit two enemies. Yeah, so Halberders, where did we finish off on that? We think in meta or we think in balanced? Balance? Okay. I'm thinking balanced too. They are definitely balanced. I don't I don't see them a lot though in the meta. Like, do you see them a lot? That's my question. I feel like they're balanced. Let's get on to Pike Militia. One of my favorite units, guys, and I think a lot of people like these units. So let's talk about it. So, Pike Militia. I don't have Pike Militia. 1k hours played. What? Alright, well, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Pike Militia. Are they OP or are they meta? Or are they just balanced? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Are they OP for their stun? They can kill stuff. Like, they can kill stuff so easily. Um, you now have no opinion here. Let's see here. Meta. Okay, I see a lot of meta. I mean, I can see meta for sure, but are they OP? Are they overpowered at all? Because they are T2s that can easily get 100 kills. Not OP? Not OP. Okay, I can dig that. I can dig that. Pike Militia. Meta. Nah, Hero goes in and dies. I think they have some say in this since I do face them every game. I think they are meta. I think they are meta. They are close to OP, but not quite. Not quite. So this is all the infantry units, guys. I don't think I missed any. Um, would love to get people's opinions on this. If you guys want to um, follow me on, twi uh, on Twitter, I will share this in my Discord. Type in exclamation Discord and I will share this. This video will also be posted on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe um, if you do appreciate these videos because i'd like to make more of these i'd like to make more um of course i will make this available if you want to create your own tiers i'll allow you guys to do that too if you want to do something with your house for fun this is a fun thing i wanted to add to the community that you guys can do with your your friends you can do it with your house like have fun with this i will make it available to other people uh range units will be next the next one will be range units and i will look at doing that next fr well no next friday is pi Next Friday, I am making a pie and I'm streaming it because that's what everyone voted for. Everyone wants me to make a video of me making pie. So that that is what I'm doing next Friday. Um, during the week, we can start talking about the range. Uh, what line did you go for paladins? I believe I went top. I went damage. I went damage, Oliver, for sure. 
All right, so I want to thank uh, you guys for watching this, and you guys have a good one.